Hello and welcome back to Sumo Newcastle for another quick developer update. Um, update 1.4 should be due uh, early next week um, and I'm going to dive into a few of the changes which you can expect to see in this video uh, and rest assured we're working on update 1.5 as well which will be coming soon after that. So let's dive in. So first up, we've got a, a ton of matchmaking improvements, which should speed up the, the waiting time uh, in the lobbies. Uh, and we're also removing the player's rank. Now, displaying the player rank was a bit of an oversight on our behalf, really, uh, because it's not, you know, this isn't how our matchmaking works. It's actually skill-based. It's not to do with your rank. The rank is more, a, you know, a, a statement of how long you've been playing the game rather than anything else. So we wanted to, you know, remove that false perception that it has an effect on the outcome of a game. Uh, you know, we see a lot of people coming up against 100 level players and it might be quite daunting. The reality is they could be using a different character for the first time. So I might be, you know, level 100, but totally experienced with John. And now I've swapped to use someone like Robin. Uh, and it's like me starting again for the first time. So yeah, we're removing that to see how, how that works out. Um, we've also, we're, we're going to start filtering players back into the hub, into the forest hideout after each match. Because uh, our data was showing that a lot of players were regularly quitting to go back to the hub, to buy perks, to get cosmetics. And this was actually having a negative impact on our matchmaking queuing system. So we're hoping that these changes will improve, you know, decrease more of those waiting times. And it'll also allow you to mess around with uh, your cosmetics and also, you know, just tool around in the lobby while you wait for the game to find you a match. Also, this could become really useful for when mountain drops because mountain being a snow map, you know, you might want to swap out your camo for something a little bit more concealing in snow rather than forest greens. So one of the next big changes is in how assassinations work or rather how they can now be interrupted. So previously when you assassinated an enemy player, you were kind of locked into this uh, animation and you know there was nothing anyone could do to save their teammate if they were being assassinated. Uh, now you can knock someone who is in the middle of assassinating out of that by striking them, you know, with a hammer, with a mace, with an arrow. Uh, so you can effectively save your teammates. Now this is, you know, gone in there we've done balance work on it we're really happy with it but get your hands on it uh, and leave some comments give us some feedback we think it's in a good place but obviously we'll continue to balance it based on your feedback in addition to those you should see uh, there's tons of little bug fixes and ui improvements that have gone into update 1.4 um, and we'll you know we'll release more detailed patch notes on the website uh, and so looking further afield as we look to, to mountain we we'll still be you know we're still testing mountain every day we think it's in a really good place and we think we're still on target for like a mid-June release. So that's exciting. Uh, and further afield, uh, we are well underway testing the PvE game mode. So this is incredibly exciting. It's uh, it's an entirely new game mode. This is the one that I chatted about last time that will offer uh, progression and you know a financial incentive. You'll get gold from it uh, and XP. Um, and it requires a far more measured and coordinated approach by your team. Uh, there's a more of a focus on stealth, basically. And there's a few interesting mechanics that we're, we're bringing in in PvE, which we're kind of using as a bit of a test bed, which might end up in the hardcore mode when we do that. So the AI is far more dangerous. So if you get, if you're revealed, if you get that red line around you when the AI sees you, then they've got the ability to kind of one shot kill you. So it, it you know, really means you've got a, a deadly consequence for breaking stealth and maybe it's not working as a team to you know line up assassinations we also have another system that we're bringing in a new mechanic called uh, well we're calling it talismans the idea being that when a player is killed the the a talisman will drop on the spot where they died and it's up to their teammates then to run over pick up that talisman and take it to one of the capture points to then respawn them and get them back into the game again it's a it's a mechanic far more familiar to pve mode uh, in general and again it's another test bed if this idea is really really successful this could be another cool mechanic that we decide to incorporate into hardcore mode as well the other big change is that winching will happen automatically so you get to the extraction zone you put down the chest and that will automatically start winching itself and then guards will turn up to add pressure on the extraction zone so you can hide in the bushes and take the guards out but they're not triggering lockdown unless they get to the chest so it is still possible if you're super super stealthy and have really good planning to do the perfect heist, to get in there, get the chest and get out totally unseen without, you know, attracting the attention of any of the guards or raising alarms. So in itself, PVE, 
actually might give you a bit more hardcore experience, but also be a little bit more player friendly for those that just want to dive in for co-op action. And in terms of further um, balancing and combat tuning, we're aware of the feedback here. We are working on significant improvements, including you know, targeting, hip registration, uh, ability and perk improvements, uh, and a lot more beside. Uh, and we're also looking into you know, expanding the community tools, the community events. So you know, we're actually trying to put in like a proper structure for when we do these community events so that you can see the challenges in progress and the rewards, like the ones we did over the past couple of weeks with, you know, Know, steal so much gold from the state we're trying to get the systems into the game so that it's a little bit more obvious when these are running and when you can get double xp when you can get gold those kind of things and so looking a couple of months further down the line uh, work is well underway with ada who is our fifth character so we are continu continuing to combat balance with her and her abilities and perks and what they bring to the battlefield which is pretty cool uh, we're hard at work with the battle pass content it's got some super cool cosmetics uh, winging their way to you soon i think it's august september around about that time we should be kicking off season one so yeah lots of cool stuff on the horizon um so yeah so thanks again for all your support and feedback uh, as we try to get this stuff out the door and in your hands as quickly as possible. Um, we're not a large development team by industry standards. We're 60, not 600. So your patience and your loyalty uh, in building this game really means a lot to us. So cheers uh, and I'll speak to you again real soon.